To the earliest observers, the cosmos was the realm of the gods. They controlled day and night, the passage of the sun and moon. So too the constellations and those wandering stars we know today as planets. Thus was born astronomy. Today, this nightly progress of the stars is little changed from the view of those first observers. What has changed is our understanding. Myth has yielded to science. We know, for instance, that the band of light in this time-lapse isn't milk spilt by the gods, but an edge-on perspective of our galaxy. It's the Milky Way, home to the sun and all the stars we see in the night sky. One galaxy among the 50 billion thought to comprise the universe. Face on, the Milky Way is a spiral of some 200 billion stars, many like our sun. They revolve around the galactic center, at whose heart, most probably, is a massive black hole. Carrying Earth and the planets with it, the Sun takes 225 million years to complete one orbit of the galactic center. Lying in a spiral arm, the Sun is two-thirds of the way out from the center. Quite remote from the seething energy of the core, with its veil of gas and dust. Like the stars of our immediate neighborhood, the Sun is yellow, average, and middle-aged. And as astronomers discover more and more planets around other stars, the Sun is certainly not unique. This is our own backyard, the nine planets of the solar system. Gas giants like Saturn and Jupiter, and four inner planets, rocky little worlds that include blue Earth. Stars are grouped into patterns or constellations, often characterized in celestial mythology. With computer animations, familiar constellations, and pinpoint destinations, the night sky comes alive. Objects visible only in binoculars or telescopes, or best understood with graphics, are signposted by the nearest star or constellation line. Again looking toward the Sun, remember it's our annual orbit of the Sun that causes its apparent journey along the ecliptic. The stars through which it passes are the constellations of the zodiac. The ancients saw them as heavenly figures. Taurus the bull, Gemini the twins, Cancer the crab, and Leo the lion. Later in the year, after Leo, Virgo the Virgin, then Libra the Balance or Scales, and Scorpius the Scorpion. Ephusius the Serpent Bearer is ignored by astrologers, adding an extra constellation to the twelve used in horoscopes. Next, Sagittarius the Archer, Capricornus the Sea Goat, and Aquarius the Water Bearer. In the fourth and final season, Pisces, the fishes, Aries, the ram, and Taurus, the bull, where we started this cycle. The 12 signs of the zodiac used by astrologers have little in common with the 13 zodiacal constellations of modern astronomy. Astronomy is science, astrology is not. <laughs>